The latest from the White House on President Trump's explosive claim that President Obama ordered wiretapping of Trump Tower. The baseless allegation has now been debunked by top members of Congress from both parties, but the White House standing by the president's tweets. Our John Carl had a contentious exchange with Press Secretary Sean Spicer in the briefing room yesterday. He joins us now with the details. John, one of the most surreal White House briefings I have ever seen. I've certainly never seen anything like it, George, but the White House is digging in even as top Republicans have joined Democrats in saying they have seen absolutely no evidence to justify the president's accusations. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer insists the president will be proven right about the alleged wiretapping of Trump Tower. So you think he's still going to be vindicated? Do you think he's I, I believe he will. But it's getting harder and harder to find anybody who agrees with that. Now the top Democrat and the top Republican on the Senate Intelligence Committee have issued a joint statement saying they've seen no proof to back up President Trump's accusation that President Obama tapped his phone. We've seen no indications, they said, that Trump Tower was the subject of surveillance by any element of the United States government either before or after Election Day 2016. Speaker of the House Paul Ryan agrees. No such wiretap existed. We've cleared that up, that, that we've seen no evidence of that. But the White House says the president isn't backing down. The Senate Intelligence Committee is saying point blank they see no indications of surveillance. Where was your passion and where was your concern when they all said that there was no, con no connection to Russia? Where was it then? You, ha you crickets from you guys, because at the end of the so day... So you're saying the president the, stands no, no, by no, no, his no, no, allegation that President I'm, Obama wiretapped the Trump Tower? I'm making a point. The point is this, number one, that it's interesting how when evidence comes out and people who have been briefed on the Russia connection come out and say that there was nothing that they have seen that proves a connection, you choose not to cover that. I'm hold asking on, you to respond on. to the Let Senate me, Intelligence I'm trying room. to answer your question, Jonathan, if you can calm down. That answer went on for nearly eight minutes straight. Spicer reading from media reports and conservative commentary citing unconfirmed and anonymous sources alleging surveillance of Trump Tower or of Trump associates. So uh, are, are you saying that the president still stands by his allegation that President Obama ordered wiretapping or surveillance of Trump Tower despite the fact that the Senate Intelligence Committee says they see no That's, indication wait, that it happened. Wait, Does the president still you, stand no, by the first allegation? Of all, he stands by it, but again, you're mischaracterizing what happened today. No, the they Senate, said they no, saw no, no indication. No, no, I'm reading the, the, exactly the, from their statement. I understand that. And the, the, at the same time, they acknowledge that they have not been in, in contact with the Department of Justice. The top Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee said in a statement after Spicer's briefing that the leaders would not have made the statement they made without having been fully briefed by authorities. So, so John, the officials debunking the president's tweet keep on piling up right now, and then the White House is actually trying to have it both ways. They're doubling down, standing by the tweets, but also trying to slide off them at the same time. That's right. The tweets say point blank that President Obama ordered wiretapping of Trump's phones at Trump Tower. Now they're saying, well, this could have been some form of, of surveillance short of wiretapping. Maybe the president didn't do it himself. Uh, so they're, they are backing away from some of the specifics. By the way, an interesting side note here, George, the president will be holding a press conference today, a joint press conference with Angela Merkel, the chancellor of Germany, who is somebody, as you remember, who actually did have her phones tapped uh, during the Obama administration. Yeah, we learned that from WikiLeaks. John Carl, thanks very much.